This is why I went to jail in Germany. Learn from my mistake. Hello, valuables. Welcome back to my channel. It is me, your host, Mary Jameson Emmett. Thank you so much for joining me on today's episode. Welcome to Value Center, where you get your self development pills. So, I want to say thank you so, so much. If today is your first time of coming across my channel, thank you for joining me. I value you. Welcome to Value Center. And to you, my old viewers, my old subscribers, Thank you for growing with me. Thank you so much for always standing by me and being a great supportive system. So I want to say, if you have not subscribed to this YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? Please do me a favor and subscribe, like, share, turn on your post notifications so as to be notified whenever I make new upload. So as you can see from the title, I am about to tell you the reason why I went to jail. I know some of you are surprised. Mary, you went to jail? Uh, I didn't go to jail, but I will go to jail if I should commit this. And certainly, I'm not going to commit this, but there are some people that have actually gone to jail because they did what I'm about to tell you. So I am here to tell you the things that immigrants in Germany, in abroad, need not to do because if you, as an immigrant, commit them, you will be sued. You can go to jail for it. And it is not just only immigrants, anybody. So, so far as you actually go against the law, you are going to face the penalty. So the number one thing that immigrants need not to do in Germany or in any part of European country is stealing. No stealing. Some people go into the shop and they forget that most shops are actually filled with cameras they actually go they pick one or two things and they think that oh they are smart they think that they are sharp and on their way out they will be held on their way out they will be embarrassed on their way out they will be arrested no one will come to say hello you took this or you did that they will just call the police immediately and by the time you are about going out the police people will just hold you and when they hold you then you are going to be behind the bar because it is a punishable offense it's next thing that immigrants need not to do when you do it you are going to be query or you are going to be arrested is preaching on the street without any authorization like here in germany you can just see someone that will carry a microphone and start going around preaching well you know you need an authorization to do that Only when you do it they might actually harass you or be like why are you doing this so it would be right if you would want to do it you go and get an authorization so when you are doing it nobody would harass you nobody will embarrass you so the next thing is entering the bus without tickets i know most people are at fault when it comes to this they enter the bus without tickets and when you're about reaching at the bus stop you are looking and checking if the people that control tickets are over there. Whenever you are being arrested, you would pay. Yes, you're going to pay a fine. The amount you're going to pay is times 10 of what you would have paid. Sorry, will not save you. So the next thing is entering into a bus with another person's identity card. You know, some students have their card. They use their card to go anywhere they want. They use it to enter the bus. They use it to enter the train and they are good to go. Some people might actually collect it from them and enter the bus. Now, sometimes you might be so unfortunate that you would go into the bus with another person's identity card or ticket and the person that is controlling would actually come ask you to bring it out and the person would have to like weigh the picture there and you and see if you are really the one on that picture and if you are not the one then you are going to land yourself into trouble they are you know what it will be is that you are a deceiver they call it betrook so that means you are a, a deceiver and you know in this country they always you know record things they will say oh this this person actually deceived did betrook and it is written maybe tomorrow when you need something good it will be brought out and used against you that you have once acted this way so as an immigrant you should know that these are prohibited these things shouldn't be done the next thing this might be funny but yes do not take your children out of school without notification you know some people will decide to keep their children and say oh let them stay at home for one week for two weeks then they start then they will start school no over here you shouldn't keep your children because 
your children are not just your own children, but they are, <laughs> but they are, you know, Dutch land children. So if your children are going to school, you should always keep in touch with their teachers if they will not be coming tomorrow. If they're not coming tomorrow, there should be a reason. Maybe they are sick. And if they are sick, you should bring a notification from the, the doctor showing that they are not feeling fine. So things are done in, you know, it's right procedure. You shouldn't just wake up one morning and then your child will not go to school for that day, for second day, for third day. And you didn't say anything to the school authority you would be queried as the mother or as a parent. So the next thing is, in Dutch land, beating children is prohibited. We African, we believe that, that we have to beat a child to show that we are training the child. But in this country, they believe that when you beat a child, you are maltreating the child. They will help you take the child and take care of the child. So you are not allowed to beat your children you are not allowed and if you should do it outside when they catch you when they catch you they are going to call police this is actually one thing that people do over here even one is not their business but so far as you're beating your child outside you just see a man or someone a random person calling the police by the time you know the police are there and they would start querying you. Why would you beat your child? Why would you, you know, mishandle the child? So it is prohibited because when you do that, you have you will pay a fine. And sometimes if you are unlucky, your child might be taken away from you. And we don't want that. The next thing is do not shop with fake money. This, don't shop with fake money. Because when you shop with fake money and you have been arrested, you can go to court for this. This is a serious offense. Well, every part of the world is a serious offense. But you know, these people, they are always, you know, so serious when it comes to you deceiving a fraudulent attitude. So they, they, all, they frown at it whenever they see that you are deceiving. They frown so much at it. So if you should purchase with fake money and unfortunately you are being caught, you are going to answer great query. You'll be taken to court. And it would also affect you tomorrow because if you want to do something, they'll be like, oh, you did this, you did that. So you always have to make sure that you are clean, you are safe in the country for you to enjoy the peace in the country. The next thing is do not drive when you don't have a driving license. Some people, when they come to Germany, they will say, oh, in Africa, I, I have been driving for five years. I've been driving for three years. Oh, I knew how to drive since when I was 18 years. You know, over here, even if you knew how to drive in Africa, you still have to go to their school and get their certificate. So if you don't have a certificate from Africa, you don't have any right whatsoever to drive any car. If you are caught, the owner of a car will be in a big trouble. You will end up putting him or her in a big trouble. So it is not allowed. It is not allowed at all. Yeah, so the next thing that will be taking me to the last one is do not drink while driving. Don't take alcohol while driving. Some parts of the world, you can drink and you will drive. Nothing shelly, nothing mega. But over here, when you drink and you drive and you are being caught there is something that is called idiotic test they test you to see if you are okay so that means a reasonable person shouldn't drink and at the same time drive so drinking and driving is prohibited in this country and the last thing that i have to say is you driving over speed you know in some parts of the world you can drive anyhow you want you can drive and you know no one cares but over here you need not drive anyhow. If the speed you are to drive is 80, you should remain on 80. If the speed you should drive is 100, remain on 100 because there are always cameras on the way. And whenever you drive beyond, you know, 100, whenever you drive beyond 100, the camera captures you. You will be in your house. You will get your letter that you should come and pay. You will get your letter. And when it happens, probably in a year, you do it one, two, three, four times. If care is not taken, they will take away driving license. So these are the things that are prohibited in Germany. As an immigrant, these are the things you shouldn't do because when you go doing these things, you can end up, you know, you can land yourself into trouble. You can go to court. You can be sued. You can actually, you know, be taken behind a bus and you do not want that. So information is powerful. Thank you so, so much for staying with me to the end of this video. I believe you've learned 
one or two i appreciate your support and your time and i want to say please if you've not subscribed subscribe like share turn on your post notification bell so as to be notified whenever i make new upload till i come your way next time i remain your humble host mary johnson ever i love you all but christ loves you more you are the head and not the tail